cup, break my bridge to pieces. This is my last bridge strut. <laughs> Big foundation, <laughs> underpinning. <laughs> Don't leave the slab till we calculate loading. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last bridge strut. <laughs> 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 Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 2. So was that actually my last bridge song or were they just lyrics that worked with the word bridge in it? Don't know. Let me know in the comments. Should we carry on the bridge songs? Should they not be on every single Polybridge video? Let me know in the comments. But for now, we are going into the worlds. We are going into the glittering gorge where we've got the last three levels to complete. So the first one is called Piggyback. We have 50 grand, loads of materials and all the vehicles go at once. So we've got to get the bus and the limo from there over to these flags on that side but there's a blooming aerial display going on by these fighter jets and we're all below some balloons so this is technically a sky bridge so to start with let's just fill road in for the guy on bottom oh 20 meters long that should make a very even amount of road Boosh. so all we need to do is make a bridge for that and since we don't have any like wall braces or anything i feel like a tension bridge would be the best thing to do basically if we go from this middle point and we go down Oh, I guess for now, something like that. We'll keep it simple to start with. And then we just connect all those with rope. We can then mirror this to the other side and then rope along the middle. And let's just see, does that hold? Yes, it does. Will it support that though? Because I'm guessing it's pretty heavy. So a way to make tension bridges stronger is by adding like another bit of rope down there. So as this drives across, the bridge has a lot more strength, but not quite enough because this cable snapped. So what I might do, if we do something like that, we should be able to go a lot lower. And that means the force on this cable is a lot less. Yeah, look at that resting force, just 34%. I think it was over 60 before. So bus gets across fine. However, you'll notice the limo is trapped and the name of the level is piggyback. So we need to create some sort of contraption, which probably involves putting road on the bus and then we'll likely involve doing the same under the limo so if i turn that to road then as they move that should take the car on top yes it does but there's a lot more weight going through our bridge so it will probably need massively reinforcing let's start with some reinforced road now starting stress is higher because the reinforced road weighs a lot more uh, next up, we may need cable for any ropes that break because cable is stronger than rope. We may need steel as well. This could be expensive, but hopefully something like that should work. So you can see the limo is being taken across by the bus. So hopefully we'll get to this side and then just drive up. Yes, nice. Okay, so we've completed the level. Not for very cheap though. Oh, we're just 1% off being a very nice top number. Uh, that is absolutely terrible though. So let's get back involved. So I feel like the sensible thing to do would be just to have like one cable underneath and then if we can as well replace the road with normal road uh, so what i'm thinking if we start with the truss in the middle and then i mean perhaps we get away with doing something like that I mean, we would probably have to shrink the outer ones but i'm thinking that sort of design so yeah if we make these outer ones a little bit smaller so the curve of this tension goes like that you can then just shove a node in to make sure it all stays still and then we'll see how that goes 28 percent that's pretty good wow nowhere near strong enough okay so after quite a bit of tweaking i've shrunk it down to this we've still got steel in here but if you watch the stress like some of the pieces they just go so red so i'm not sure we can really save too much here. I mean, perhaps on this side, actually, could we make those two wood? On this side, they go very orange, so they need to be steel. But on this side, no, they still need to be steel. Fair enough. Now, I'm also thinking as well, if I if I shrink these quite a lot, then it should weigh less as well. How's that looking? No, the limo fell off. Okay, okay, that looks good. Can the bridge hold? Oh, no, the limo, you knob. <laughs> so if I lower the road a little bit, and I've sort of noticed the car will drive forward first. So yeah, what I'm thinking, if I do something like like that and the car drives down a hill and then it's in the middle yeah that looks better ish okay not quite better all right there we go there we go it's balanced it's balanced how's the stress of the bridge 
No. Oh, that was so close. Oh, so that piece broke. Okay, I tried to get away with that being that being wood, but it wouldn't happen. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. 24,545. There you go. I saved like 200 quid there by making that a muscle. If that works, I could potentially do the same to that side as well. Oh, stress went so high then. Okay, that's good. Let's see if we can do the same on that side. So we're nearly under 24 grand. 24% stress as well. Will the bridge hold the entire way? Oh, the stress. Going up to 95%, but I think we're good. I think we're good. We've done it. Okay, hopefully that will tread us a bit higher up the leaderboard. Top 8%. Get in. I mean, if we watch this with the stress on, I could probably bring up all these nodes because I don't think the cable... Oh, it does go quite orange, actually. It doesn't go that red, though, just orange. So what I'm thinking, if I bring that up, we're now well under 24 grand. Is that going to make things a lot worse? Yeah, thought so. Right, what about moving this slightly up just by a few pixels? You can see I've saved a few hundred quid. So we're under 24 grand. Oh, that's looking good. That is looking good. Uh, so we moved up. I think we only moved up like two or three places. Still, top 8%. We'll take that. Let's go have a look in the gallery. So cheapest solution is, oh yeah, is Tension Bridge. Pretty much identical, just way more efficient. Look how many few, how did that not break? Smodge filled. What, what are your secrets? Tell me. This one, oh, they've used quite a bit of rope in there. So rather than the steel cable, they've got away with using rope, which is quite cheap. Uh, what? How, what? How is that one cheaper than my, oh, I guess because they haven't used how do they get that to work? So they've done like an on-grid solution with rope underneath and it's only 21 grand. Fair play, Puff Axe. Anyway, looks like nearly everyone did a tension bridge. Uh, this guy went very low with their tension. <laughs> Look at the road contraption. There's so much road. Some people incorporated strong counterweights and RCE memorabilia medallions. Yeah, this one cost 100 grand. Did you see that? It said engine. Oh no, look what it's riding on. Look what it's riding on. Why? This one... <laughs> They use efficient modes of transport to get the limo across. This one. Oh, look at that. They built a bridge underneath. Screw your tension bridge. We don't need that. Uh, what is, is that a double-ended? Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, good trust work there. Good. What is that? Come on, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my name tied to all of these ones? So what does that say? Sup, RCE. Sup, Mr. Ducky. Uh, what about this one? RCE. Uh, why was that tied to me? <laughs> Uh, worth noting, we're not even on the last page yet. So let's go to the last page. Oh, there's so many with my initials. All right. So why did this one cost so much? It's a hundred grand. Okay, that's why. Oh my goodness, the detail. I, sh I need to stop laughing because I am encouraging this sort of behavior and I really shouldn't. Yeah, so this has a huge counterweight underneath. What is that? Okay. Uh, there's the one. This one, I think they use hair removal cream on their nuts. Uh, right. Oh, here we go. An ugly and power fly special. So, oh my goodness. Did you see that? They, they inverted it. They inverted the level. <laughs> okay, we need to watch that again. So basically, if you remember, you're meant to build a bridge underneath. And then the limo is meant to sit on top of the bus. But on this one, the bus is hanging from the limo because they built a bridge on top. And it had gaps for the jets to fly through. And then it just flapped down. That's insane. I need to watch it one more time. Just look at the flaps. So you flop. Flop. The bus is carried underneath like a gondola. Oh, that was so good. Anyway, with that done, let's move on to the next level. Star get. That sounds like a badly translated like mobile game. So we've got to get the star. Oh, okay. So there's a star in the middle that we need to get. Uh, what order does everything happen? Oh, so all the background stuff goes. Oh, there's no hydraulic phase, but then the car goes afterwards. So have you got speed, Mr. Buggy? 15 meters a second speed and 10 meters a second squared acceleration. Okay, you do have speed. Let's just have a little play see how fast you are. So they fly past first. And then yeah, okay, fair amount of speed. Oh, we've only got 12 pieces of road. Ooh, okay. So just look at this line tool. We probably want to do something like that, but then just make this like jumps and things. I mean, I'll tell you what, actually, I'm thinking, could I, if I just grab a note, can I build road through that? Oh, yes, I can. That's probably what we want to do then. So if we start our ramp back here, so we got those nodes resting on the floor. So yeah, you can sort of see we're like cutting through the ramp. So that should be quite smooth. Yeah, it was. Uh, we were a lot. How the hell are we going to get up there? Okay, maybe this isn't the way to do that. I feel like maybe we do just want to use all this ramp to build up speed. Then if we dangle we can then 
possibly go up. I mean, I don't know, actually. Maybe should I go to the middle and do like a spine? Would that be better? I mean, if I did something like that, that's a lot of road. What have we got left? We've got like four pieces. That's not enough. That is not enough. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's just focus on trying to get this thing up. So I could use that node, but I feel like that will use quite a lot of pieces. Instead, we'll go underneath and then use a spine bring to dampen so first question do we make that i mean not really okay so let's watch this in slow motion oh it's dipping loads it's dipping so much i mean would it be worth doing a ramp like that so it jumps a lot further or we could potentially lose yeah you can probably use, lose that first bit of road i'm i think i'm gonna do this like a stiff bit of road so that lands okay like that i'm actually not sure if we'll be able to get up there at all <laughs> But I've added a spring to the landing, so hopefully that won't break. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, but the rest of this breaks. What if we were to make this stiff instead? Okay, so something like that. Massively overdesigned. I just want to see if this will work for now. Oh, it's nowhere near high enough. And then we only have six pieces of road afterwards as well. Okay, I feel like this isn't the this isn't what we're meant to do instead. Instead, what if we were to raise that up? Could we then do a ramp like there instead? Okay, so good news is I've made a ramp that we get to the start. However, we then land straight in the water. Not ideal. We do have seven bits of road left though. And really what I'm thinking is I just tweak this so we land on the ground and then hopefully we can just like make a bridge over to there. So if I just push those in and all I should really need to do is do like a little truss and then just dangle it. So I guess I'll start just by making this cheaper. Really don't need steel down there, I would have imagined. So that looks a bit under stress. We may need an extra floor brace. Yeah, not ideal. So as this lands, you can see the force spread. Oh, that good. That's good. It didn't break. It didn't break. Okay, so gets the star and then it's just a case of where is it gonna land so it lands completely upside down okay not ideal but nothing a few tweaks can't solve so let's see how that works oh lovely oh it's gonna land on its roof again oh no it's not butt slide butt slide oh it stopped wait wait it's doing a backwards roll on your wheels on your wheels yes okay so now it jumps Gets to the flag. Uh, top 31% though. Not very beautiful. So let's think of ways we can fix this. I did actually see it, it jumped to the flag quite a lot. So we can probably get rid of like an entire length. And then perhaps just dangle it with, with wood. Because that's cheaper than rope. So we'll just make sure this still holds. Yeah, looks good. And the jump, make it perfectly. So we're down to 18 grand. Top 27%. I mean, do I need like that bit of truss? Uh, I'm going to say yes, probably, because that doesn't look very safe to me. Right, well, top 25% will probably do me. Let's get in the gallery and see all the different ways that people came up with. Someone did it for 2,700 quid. Ask the spring cannon, of course. Uh, any legit ones that don't spring can... Oh my goodness. Dusty, what have you done? No way that works. Oh, I should have... Oh, no. And then a trapeze. A spring trapeze. Oh my goodness. Four grand. So yeah, now I'm looking at these. Pretty much everyone dangled from the balloon. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. Why didn't I think to do that? Uh, what's going on with that? What is that piece there? I don't know. Let's see what happens. So same thing as before. Little gap up there. Jumps up. And then I honestly, I don't know what that is. Is it just a rope to hold it in place? So look, this is similar to what I was trying to do initially. So a straight up jump and then land under there and then pretty much what I had at the end. But okay, so when I dangle, no one else dangles. When I don't dangle, everyone else dangles. I don't feel that I've performed on this level. Uh, well, look at this one. <laughs> this person did both beep beep. They are a Jeep. Anyway, let's go to my favorite page, the last page. Oh, wow. Okay, that one's literally being censored because uh, I mean, at least part of it is that is an engineer man with um yeah with arched legs. Let's just put it that way and something in between. Uh, this one is a modded one as you can see that so yeah i've just used the infinite road length glitch so you can get up there get up there okay this is my sort of bridge <laughs> yes so you can see once you've driven to the top it gets to this part i think there's dual roads there like in parallel so it lands exactly where you want it to decent paolos this what oh wait what's that oh it's people falling it's people oh at least they're happy at least they're happy <laughs> okay so what have we got here just loads and loads of strength look at that it's like trusses steel and springs all working together yeah, so this one oh look how many springs it lands on i don't know what that is at the end <laughs> I don't know what that is there either, actually. I think this person's used architecture. Better not show that one anymore. Ah, oh, here we go. This one's used engineering, though. Good old 
trusty engineering. Uh, we then got a few more similar designed ones. Uh, this one includes my initials and well, it does break. Not so ideal. Uh, yeah, more of the uh, what? <laughs> questions. A lot of questions about that one. Uh, but then this one, look, they go, oh, it's sponsored by Nifty. Nifty, get your Nifty now. But yeah, on this one, the car drives up onto the balloon and then it drops onto the star and then, oh, a nice little dangly trapeze. You gotta love the Nifty sponsored solution. Anyway, time to go on to the next level. Plinko, our budget is 77777. And what is actually going on? What? So if I press play, what the f Rig is this? Why is there a strong shape as part of the level? Anyway, oh, it's one of those like fully game things. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? I guess we gotta focus on the top star first, right? So you, you land in the wrong place. You're good. So we've got to work on the blue car. So I think they are anchor points that we can use. Now uh, we've only got spring and road. So what I'm thinking here, if we spring to there-ish, wang some road like there, and then spring under that way, or perhaps we spring down to this one. Yeah, because then we could, if we're clever with this, we could compress so it goes higher. Yeah, sort of like that. So as it lands, yeah, it gets chucked over that way. Nice. Okay, so they both got the top star. Oh, you got the second star. Okay, so now we just need to separate them into their respective areas. We need to get this one to the second star as well. So we'll just see where this one lands. So we know it gets the top star. I feel like making a road go down. Oh, I can't do... Oh, okay. I can't do road from those. But if I do spring and then just road... Could I just do that? No, because it flops that way. Okay, that's annoying. I mean, I could spring, like, across there. So it gets that start, and then it's pushed. I mean, it's not quite... But go on. Go on. <laughs> You're going the wrong way. you got to fall down. Okay, what if instead we dangle a few more bits of road like that? And there we go. As long as it doesn't get grip, we should be fine. So... F no, it got grip. It got grip. Ah, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> okay, so we now get both stars. We've got to be quite patient with this one, but it does get through eventually. We've then just got to sort them into the right ends. So blue one, let's do that first. I mean, to be honest, if I dangle like... Yeah, if we leave that there, that should go... Yes, over that way. Nice. And then that's pretty close to there, meaning we can hopefully just do something like that and it'll deflect it into the blue. Then we can probably do the same if we dangle from there down. So perhaps something like that should work. So you land on there. Yes, land in that one. This car comes down. Get over, get over. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, straight into there. Beautiful. 11 grand. That is a hell of a lot cheaper than... Whoa, that's so much cheaper than I was expecting. We're the top 6% on my first ever try. I mean, 40th in the world. You cannot argue with that. Let's have a look in the gallery. So cheapest solution was 7,100. Yeah, so to be honest, pretty similar sort of thing. You've got the two sorting areas and you've got the dangly roads that I did underneath as well. It's just all about making your springs as short as possible. So their dangles are quite high high compared to mine. So the most expensive one is this. Yep. Then we've got this one. What's Oh, it's RCE with knobs. Nice. Uh, that one, just carnage of knob. Uh, this one. Oh my goodness, they grow. <laughs> oh no, there's so many. Uh, then we have this. What is that at the bottom? Did they fill in? I think they may have filled in the other ones. Yeah, so... <laughs> That's genius. That's actually genius. So they filled in the other the other slots with road so that you have to get across. I actually like that one. Fair play. Uh, this one. Yep. See, someone else saw that shape up there as well. Oh, look, they've got a little truss bridge made of springs under there. And then this one, sub to RC. Oh, what did that say? What did that actually say? Wait, can I pause? Oh, I can pause these. Tell you what, this message better be worthwhile. I think it just says sub to RCE loads of times. So yeah, do what he says, sub to RCE. Yeah, but in the meantime, we have finished this level and we are on the second world, which is called Gleam Town. Now, bear in mind, I'd never actually, I haven't even unlocked Steam Town. We're on Serenity Valley on the main game. I think Steam Town is the next level. So Gleam Town might be a bit too much for me. Perhaps I should go back to Serenity Valley next. Uh, but for now, we'll try and complete Hang On. So basically that goes, then we got a hydraulic phase. Oh, hydraulics. And then that goes. So we've got to get you down to there. There's a boat in the way. And then up to that point. And we only have one node, which is dangling from a balloon. Okay. So what I'm thinking, we go straight line up to there. And then we say, <laughs> so we've got our road to get up. We then need road underneath that, and then road up to that point. And then we need to work. The scoop is worrying me. I don't know if I feel like that will be too steep. So that's where we probably need hydraulics. So rather than doing this, I guess we can hydraulic that up. I don't actually know. I don't know. 
don't know how to do this one. Okay, well, let's do what we do know. So we know we can make a truss out of that. Hopefully that's wedged against the wall. And then we can hang that there. So does that stay? No, not quite. No, but we can just put that over the top, rest those nodes there. So that should... It, but I mean, if I made this a bridge as well and did the same thing, then yeah, okay, that does stay in place. The question is, with a wet middle, is this going to work? I feel like we probably need to like bring the top up. Although, although, oh, that was that was actually working. All right, I tell you what, if this can hold, which it sort of is, look, we're floating on the water. So if I can just stop this side from breaking, we might actually be okay. We're looking at the stress, why why are you stressed? I think because the rope is above that you're stressing it out and then oh it rocks back so much this could work if i did like that then that might force this side to stay where it is if that makes sense so i think if it doesn't fall down it should be fine i'll tell you what i could just trust like over this right, yeah i'll tell you what let's try putting this over the other side as well so we got a completely rigid bridge now oh, oh. <laughs> it just folds in on top of it. I mean, if I were to truss over the top, like I tried earlier, but failed, in case you're wondering where that went. So the question is, will the boat get through that gap? It's gonna be tight, but yes, it does. Okay, now is this strong enough? I've used 25 grand of the 30 grand budget. I could probably make the road a bit bit easier to drive on but looks like it's getting up okay oh we might have done it we might have done it can it make that gap yes okay we actually did the level we didn't have to use hydraulics top 31 percent that's not actually that bad i'll tell you what as i have been watching this with the stress on i did sort of notice there's definitely areas we could make improvements yeah so i'm actually thinking could i just replace these with rope because if it's equal on both sides, then we should get the same thing of just no movement. So that's 20 grand. I've saved like a good few grand there. So let's see what happens. Oh, it's looking good, actually. Oh, that was, a, that was a very easy save. That's loads of money. Oh, wow, we're on the top 12%. Now. We're 69th. Okay, I'm not touching that. That's perfect. Exactly where I want to be on the leaderboard. So let's check out the gallery. The cheapest solution. Oh, look at that. So... What? <laughs> I don't even understand how that's not breaking. Now we've got very similar, but with two ropes and they've used the wooden rope method, which is just a cheaper way of doing like dangly supports. Uh, no support on top. Oh, under trusses on this one. Uh, then we've got ones that use hydraulics. Oh, so it lowers the bridge down because then you don't have to worry about the boat being in the way. Yeah, that's quite a good idea. Uh, that's basically my one, but even more simple. It doesn't have the truss in the middle going across. I mean, perhaps I could have deleted that on mine. Let's just see. Now I've got those ropes in. Do I need all of that stuff? Does that work now? Not gonna lie. I'm not too convinced. No, mine has a lot of movement. Still, it's good to try these things. Right, let's have a look at this one. I can see it's got a flap with the hydraulics. So that just closes the flap. Nice. And then we have a complete bridge. Wow, people did this really cheap. Fair play. Uh, let's go to the last page and see what's going on. What is actually going... What? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I'm so confused. What am I looking at? Whatever it is, it worked. Now, right, so this... <laughs> well, we got a lot of steel under the water. We've got a springy rope. We got loads and loads of cable and a hydraulic. Uh, whereas you could have had the nifty sponsored solution, which is just the obvious solution. The RCE shaft bridge uh, that's loaded into place with a hydraulic. This one, is that a bike? Is there a bike up there? No, what is that? Oh, it made one of those. Oh, I thought it was a bike. Uh, I'm intrigued by that. What is that? Or oh, is that RCE? That's meant to say RCE. That's very like graffiti font. I'm almost so old that I couldn't read it, but I could. I could read it. So I am sort of young right? What is that in the... Oh, it's RCE. I keep getting confused by the RCEs. <laughs> I keep thinking it's like really clever engineering. I mean, I mean, it is. Now we've then got this one, which has oh an underwater counterweight to help with the bridge dynamics because uh, those vibrations, you've got to dampen them somehow. This one starts low and uses the mythical hydraulic muscle to pull the bridge upright. Fair play. Right. Well, next time we'll be taking on the seesaw or perhaps we'll go back to the original levels of Serenity Valley. Let me know what you prefer and let me know if you want a song as well. But for now, I'll say peace, love and bridges. Bye. Bye, guys.